yes, you can have a post-baby sex life. Whether you became a parent through one person physically giving birth or through a surrogate or through adoption, and maybe it's even been a few years since you had a child, but you noticed that around the time of having children, something changed in your sex life. My name is Laura Rademacher, and I am a licensed marriage and family therapist, and I'm also a certified sex therapist. And trying to figure out your sexual life after having a baby is a topic I work with very, very often in my private practice. There are so many changes in a person's body when they go through pregnancy. You can give yourself whatever time you need to heal. The parts of your body that used to be really sensitive and get really aroused, that might have changed. So you may need to have some discussions about what used to feel good to you versus what feels good to you now. Sometimes people feel really embarrassed to tell their partner really truly what is going on with their body after birth. But any partner that wants to be sexual with you needs to want to be good to your body and give you pleasure and not have you experience pain or discomfort. So I hope you both will have these conversations and find ways to talk about whatever is happening. If one of you is breastfeeding, you are going to have breast milk in your life. And it doesn't just happen when the baby is trying to have a meal. It can happen during sex. It can happen during arousal. It can happen seemingly random times when you're not expecting it. But one thing to just try if you can to get comfortable with is breast milk is going to be around. And sometimes people find that really sexy. And sometimes people are like, "Mm, it would be nice if this just required less cleanup. I often see one partner, often a partner that did not give birth, get back to sexual desire that is pretty similar to the way it was before having a baby pretty quickly after having a baby. And then I often see another partner, and that tends to either be a person who gave birth with their body or is doing a lot of the hands-on daily childcare that involves sleep loss, really struggle to get back to that desire for quite a long time. So if you are watching this and your child is now a toddler or a preschooler or kindergarten and you're going, Mm -hmm, that's us. You are at least in good company. For many, many people, spontaneous desire is less likely to happen after they've had a baby and they don't know that they need to be going looking a little bit for that responsive desire. So they're kind of going, where did my desire go and what do I do about it? So how do we cultivate responsive desire? See sex as an opportunity to give and receive support. Work as a team and work towards what is going to be pleasurable for both of you. Because if sex is not reconnecting, if it is not pleasurable, if it is not positive for both of you, you're not going to find the time for it. 